Oh, hey there. You just caught me staring at an endless vortex of myself. I'm It's Kiwi, named Kian Murphy, and I'm here to answer some questions for Blockbuster Tips. What you, what you want? What you, what you want? When did I first become interested in filmmaking? Um, kind of hard to put a real finger on the actual, you know, date. I started making, you know, short films and stuff about five or six years ago. I started doing animation on Pivot and Flash and stuff. I was always trying to get like these cinematic angles and doing camera moves and things, which isn't really easy when you're doing 2D animation, or well, when you're learning to do 2D animation. So um, I ended up getting a camera and took it from there. But um, I've always liked, you know, acting goofy in front of cameras and getting cool angles with photographs and stuff. So I've kind of always, you know, liked it, but it never, I only started actually doing it about maybe, yeah, five or six years ago. My favorite TV show or film, um, well, TV shows, that's easy. I only watch three TV shows, and I don't even watch them on TV. I watch them online. It's The Big Bang Theory, Mythbusters, and Doctor Who. You don't need anything else. Best shows. My favorite movie, um, it's not what I'd classify as technically the best movie. Like, I know movies that have achieved more cinematically or they have better dialogue and stuff I really like my dialogue in movies but my favorite movie to watch is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World it's a really good movie what type of camera do I use? I use a Panasonic NVGS 230 it's a small mini DV camera but um, it's got three image sensors, it's got a cold shoe on it for an external microphone, it's got a mic input and a headphone slot so it does everything I need it to do. I edit with Adobe Premiere Pro CS4 and After Effects for visual effects and things and I edit on this computer. My dream camera. Now that's that's a very it's that's a weird question. I don't know how you want me to answer this. My dream camera is you know implanted in my head and sees what I see, and does exactly what my brain wants it to do in terms of focusing and auto balance and all that color correction and stuff. Realistically, if I had a bunch of money to spend on a camera to use, I would probably go with a HVX or a Canon 550D, the you know DSLR camera that can do video. Um, you know, not the best cameras out there, but cameras I'd aspire to have. The biggest and hardest project I've ever done. You, you, you probably mean finished, because I've done projects that were so big and so hard that they just didn't get finished. They got nowhere near finished. They were biggest, big failures. Fun to do, but you know, failure in the end. My hardest camera shoot was probably one I did two years ago, where it, it didn't really have a proper name. I named it Real Life Video Games because I thought that's what people would click on on YouTube. It was about this guy um, who was imagining what life would be like if it was like a video game where he was able to clean up stuff with his Wiimote and use cheat codes to fly and everything and then his friend had a different idea where um, it was kind of a Street Fighter style fight out and him dying and explosions and Tetris bricks falling out of the sky um, I really love the idea that the thing turned out okay-ish I guess and um, it was pretty hard because one we had I picked a location and when we headed out it was it was a walkway that you know not too many people go on but it was a really sunny day so we'd set up and we'd be halfway through a shot and someone would be walking their dog past and we'd have to do it again and again and then the sun was in the actor's eyes for half of the shots because we needed to get different angles 
which was a pain in the ass. And I didn't plan, I didn't think about this, but there was a road right behind us, so the sound was a disaster. And then editing was no fun either, because I wanted all these 8-bit sound effects from specific games, which you'd think, oh, I'll type in Mario 1-Up sound effect. But, you know, there's nowhere to get that. I ended up having to download themes to make your computer look like Super Mario Brothers, and the the boot up your computer sound was, was that sound effect. Um, I had to plug my Game Boy in through a cord into the mic input on my computer to record the fight music from Pokemon. And I think I had some other 8-bit music I got off Newgrounds. Um, and then it turns out my editing software didn't have the dream sequence kind of transition with the wavy lines and stuff, which I really wanted. So I ended up making that myself in After Effects, which was a pain in the ass again, because I was kind of new to After Effects. But, um, it turned out good enough. Um, yeah, I'm not happy enough to show it on my channel anymore. But, uh, I was proud of it. My dream job would be to work doing video for the web, specifically. In, um, a company I'd love to work with would be Next New Networks. Revision 3 is kind of another company that does video for the internet. And, or advertising for one of those companies. I don't know. I love anal analyzing ads. I've been doing it since I was like six years old. Um, balancing a good ad between how interested you are in it and how much it actually sells you the product and the techniques and stuff they use but uh, specifically video for the web because one, I like having complete control of my videos and when you're making stuff for the web you generally don't have a huge crew where you've got seven different people trying to operate cameras and or someone directing something you've written I just, I just hate the idea of other people having control over a vision that's in my head. I wouldn't mind, you know, working with a couple of people that, you know, I know or I trust and that I can be frank with and, you know, get get what I want to get across. And what I love about uh, the internet is you've got that, like, direct relationship with your audience where, you know, comments on YouTube, you can connect with people, have discussions and get proper feedback which I don't think exists as much in bigger media you just don't have that connectivity the most important equipment besides your camera which I think you can you know pretty much get away with using any kind of camera that films video you you can get your story across what's really important is your audio I mean people some people will watch you know something with bad visuals if it's enjoyable or if they can hear what's going on but people just won't watch it if there's crappy audio and stuff so definitely mic external microphones and the like are very important for making videos performance or visuals Oof. I do like good visuals but I definitely think performance is is more important. You can you can make something that's you know solely goes on the performance and you know has no visuals. Well, not no visuals, but you know you know not spectacular visuals. Or you can have something with spectacular visuals, like a you know a popcorn film that you just want to shut off and watch. But I definitely think that a perform performance is more important even in something where you're you know focusing on the visuals it's it's definitely much better to have good performance in there the advice i would give to filmmakers well first off is just go go and film things film it it's going to be crap all your first stuff is going to be crap Get it to a point where you like it, even even if it's crap. If if you like what you've done, or 
actually even if you don't like what you've done, you've still got an experience. But you like like get it to a point where you like what you've done, you know, in a couple of months you'll look back on it and you'll go, Wow, that was crap. How did I like that? But you like it at the time and that's fun and that's that's I think that's why people should make videos, because it's enjoyable. But if if you're like me and you are trying to do like sketch comedy and stuff, my most important tidbit of information I can give to you is get things filmed as fast as possible. Do all your proper pre-production and stuff, but get the idea out of your head or even on paper or in storyboards or something as fast as you can because your brain is where funny things go to die. You'll think of something and you go, oh, that's so funny, I should make a video out of that. And if you write it down and you, you're developing it and it's, it's still funny and that's great and you can film it and then it's funny and you show people and they think it's funny. But if you think about it for a while, it just becomes less funny the more you go over it. And then, you know, you get less motivated to actually film it and to edit it. And then you don't want to put it out there anymore because you don't think it's funny and you don't think other people will think it's funny. Other people will still think it's funny if you originally thought it was funny because, you know, they've never had this idea, they've never seen it before. And so they have. But the point is that the longer you're working on something funny, the less funny it becomes. So just try and get out there, get it out there as fast as you can and someone else is going to find it funny. And even if they didn't, you know what? Y you found it funny. So it was worth it. So that's what I have to say to these questions. I want to thank Blockbuster Tips for giving me this opportunity. And I hope you will all come to my channel and check out my videos. And, you know, if you like what you see, subscribe. Because that would be freaking awesome. Goodbye.